Here's a quick video showing how I edit down long clips in DaVinci Resolve. Jumping into Resolve, here's an example clip. There's lots of pauses, like here, and I want to push the tempo a little bit to kind of keep things feeling like they're um, still moving along. So there's a few things you can do. I'll just press S to split my clip. You could swipe through, basically find a stopping point and an end point and use that to split your clip up. And that can be handy. But what I have found is there's better ways. We'll listen right here to what's going on. To kind of hold this in. Okay. And I just said right there what it needs to do. Take a breath of air. And then I think I'll cut right there. And then nothing really happens for a little bit here. Now I could just press S. Let's say I want my endpoint right there. Well, now I have this piece of the clip that's still left. And I could just delete it. And then I can also delete the gap and more or less perform a ripple delete and bring the clips together. You can also, once you don't have a track selected, you can have a gap selected or no track selected. You can press G and that ripple deletes your clips together. I'll undo that for now. But the way I've been doing this has been, I will find an endpoint. So let's say, take a breath of air and then I need to find my out point or basically what will end up being my next endpoint. And I think here would work. So there's another function where you press shift and either open bracket or close bracket. And if you press open bracket, it cuts your clip to that point. If I hit shift end bracket, it cuts the end of the clip. What I'll do here, instead of just splitting my clip again, selecting it, deleting it, then shortening or even dragging my clips together, I'll just delete what's ahead of it by doing shift open bracket, and then I'll continue on. I could delete that gap and watch my flow here, but I think it's a little more efficient to kind of take a couple passes. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna leave these little gaps and we'll fix them later. So there's a good spot. Let's see how much of this clip I want now. I just want to see this first part where I kind of thread the hook in. We'll break it there. And now I want to show pulling the strap out. But in order to do that, I'll start kind of here. That's my next endpoint. Instead of splitting the clip, I'll do shift open bracket. That deletes the area ahead of that, ahead of the uh, playhead. And let's see how much of this I want. I want to pull that out. So I'll kind of edit on the motion here so you can just see what's going on. I'll break that. It's essential to have this split because if I don't have that split, I forget, let's say, and then I set my new endpoint, I've actually deleted my last clip. So you do, it is a process. You do have to find and place your split and that split is essential for the next part. But we'll look through here. What's next? Nothing super important. Maybe right here where I clip it together. That looks kind of cool. So somewhere in there. Shift open bracket. How much of this clip do I want? Right there, let's say. We can always go back and trim these up later, but this is kind of just going through a rough cut. Uh, let's see what's next. Nothing really happening. You can uh, click on the timeline with middle mouse button, press and hold, and you can drag your timeline. You can also, depending on which side you grab audio or video, you can drag it up and down. That can be really handy instead of holding control and scrolling. I find it's a lot smoother. All right, there, I'm actually finally doing something. That might be nice to edit in. I've got my split here, and now I've done shift open bracket. Now, how much of this do I wanna keep? That much looks good. I'll split it again. And you're not losing this data. You can always drag your clips back out later. And the motorcycle goes by. Okay, I'm talking again. So this will be my new endpoint. There we go. So here I stop talking for a little bit. I'll go ahead and break that. I'll find the next spot where I talk and I'll set that is the new start point. Let's see, I say say hopefully and I kind of trail off. I might show a little bit of ratcheting to start. I'll split that. Another way you can do this is you could just drag your clip and you can basically play and review it as 
you're scrubbing through, and then as soon as you let go, you're done there. I like to kind of move the play head around a little bit for these kind of rough cuts, but do as you will. Shift end. So you can you can work it both ways. You could work forward and you're cutting to the beginning of the clips, or you can drop some points, and as long as you kind of know where your opening points and your breaking points are, then everything will work for you. So now to combine these clips down, uh, you could go through and hit delete on all these gaps. Uh, the other function is G, and pressing G will delete gaps between clips across your whole timeline. That um, works well when you're working forward in your timeline, but if you've got your rough edit together, and let's say you go back to the beginning, and now you're throwing in some music, and you want to tweak a couple things, like your, your intro, you trimmed it up, and now there's a gap, and you hit G, it will move your entire timeline forward. And that might work for you, but you do kind of have to pay attention because you can move stuff out of alignment that way. What I'll do now is I'll press G right after I change the clip color because you're actually, you're in a timeline I'm working on. Now we have our clips combined here. Watch this one more time. Okay. That flowed a little bit better. So yeah, that's how I've found most recently, really, in the last couple of weeks to uh, go through and you kind of drop a break point. Then you move to your new spot. You can scrub over or watch until you want the action to start again. And you'll just press your shift open bracket and that starts your clip there. Now you have a gap deleted for you. You've performed two actions in one and you move forward. And then once you get to the end, you can delete with G and that'll re ripple delete your clip together. Hope this helped.